Welcome to Magoo and Son Exploration with your bumbling co-hosts, Magoo and Son, a.k.a. Dad, Glenn Jr., and Son, a.k.a. BG. And um, today we're going to take you on a very fun, wild adventure regarding shoes. Take it away, Dad. We have shoes. <laughs> We've got lots of shoes. And these shoes need a new home. And we've discovered an attraction that we're going to take you to that's based on this theme. <laughs> that is right. We're about to go on an adventure. I'd call it a northern suburb of Pontiac. A northern, <laughs> which is saying a lot. <laughs> um, so let's hit the road and see what we discover. You don't think I'm natural? <laughs> I think I'm natural. I gotta get going. I'm tired. I'm tired of sitting here. Let's go. I'm ready. There's a quail. <laughs> God, look at all this. Look at all this traffic. Look at this. They're giving away black trucks over here or something. We're on our way. A beautiful, a beautiful day for a drive in the country. Yeah. Another drive in the country. That's you know, the more I do this, the more I detest urban driving. Golly and gravel road. <laughs> Son, what have you got me into? I'm actually glad that I stumbled upon this location because there's one thing that we have, and I think Magoo mentioned that we've got shoes, a backlog of shoes, quite a lot of shoes, and um, they become sort of hazardous, very dangerous. very dangerous, very dangerous. This next location is unique, I'm really excited for us to take you there. So, cut to drive the cut. <laughs> arrived at our destination friendship shoe corner i thought it was friendship shoe fence friendship shoe fence yeah we actually have some shoes to actually string up to donate to the fence and we're going to take you along for that Purses. 
friendship shoe fence. You may take shoes or leave shoes. So many shoes, so little time. How's that? Good done. Good done? I don't know what that means. Well That's done. Close to well done. Well done. See, we could have brought that other beer right there. Oh no, but we're saving that for the uh we got another place. Uh, I like it to be by the so many shoes. Well those are very much like those though. Well, gives a choice. Okay, you can see why I want those or those. I'm trying to Yeah, that looks good. Now these, I'm probably going to have to go from the top. I think that's very aesthetically pleasing. There's a hat. Hey, you could use a hat. Put the hat on, man. All right, you, you have to do something magooish. All right, let's go. The picket fence and the cardinal. That's a cardinal, Dad. Oh. oh I see. Let me take a picture. Nice. Next time we come, we'll bring cups. Oh, look at there. See, they've got all this for you to hang your cups. Wow, very impressive. Noda, keep off the fence. Right, son. <laughs> what do you make of this? <laughs> friendship shoe fence. <laughs> so that was the friendship shoe fence. Also, bonus, cups and purses. Cups and purses, hats, found a hat. Um and the nature is take one, leave one. If you leave, wish. If you wish. You but, can take, you can leave. We Left. We left. We donated three. Three pairs. Contribute to this work of folk art. Folk art, yeah. Side, roadside folk art. Person that placed this uh, got the idea elsewhere and is a neighboring property owner. 
So we're, we, we think we spotted the name on a nearby farm uh, that has a sign on it. We're going to just check the name of the family on the sign and see if it corresponds with the facts as we understand yeah, it. Yeah, hopefully if it is the same in individual. Um, she came up with the idea when she was traveling to visit a pen pal of hers in, uh, was it Norway? The Netherlands. The Netherlands, or was it New Zealand? The Netherlands, I don't know. It was some in New Zealand, Norway, or uh, the Netherlands. So th those are three possibilities. <laughs> We're really good at this. Um, New Zealand... She was visiting a pen pal in New Zealand and saw something very similar and had the idea, oh, that would be something really cool to take back to the States, which she did. So she actually started this adventure by placing 300 pairs of shoes back in 2009, so about 10 years ago. Wow. So that's some cool roadside attraction. So if you found yourself venturing around Route 66 in, in Cornell, Illinois, or if you might be traveling around the north suburbs of Pontiac, you should come check this out. So we're going to go see if we could find if this lady's property is down the road like we think it might be. Check it out. Yep. The Donzi Welcome Posse. Thank you so much for joining us on our exploration of Friendship Shoe Fence in Cornell, Illinois. It was a pleasure to have you with us. So if you enjoyed it, subscribe. Love tap the like button. Hit that bell notification for future uh, episodes that we'll be broadcasting. Broadcasting, yeah. not broadcasting. But nonetheless, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. That's all, folks. <laughs> Wait, let's do this. Okay, great. That's enough. We're, we're, I'm going to... You know, no one that listens to this is going to be as critical as you are. Right. 